it's been a while since I've actually recorded something about Skyrim for a while. I was busy with the uh, Borderlands stuff, but yeah, because the the more recent episode was gonna come out like a month old. I recorded that one about a month ago, so it's been a while. So we are in here, I think? somewhere around here. I actually got a funny little thing in the creation club. Let's see if I can find it. Over here. Uh, now here it is. Uh, the spell tomes will teach its readers the unique art of telekinesis arrows, giving both a lesser power and a knowledge of crafting these special arrows. Now? Hold on. I think it's for some of these letters. Okay, hold on. And that shouts. Um, let me. No. What's up? No. Conjuring. No. Restoration? No. Powers? Ah, okay. I'm actually getting put there for now. That's neat. Oh. Okay, hold on. So how are these? Oh, nope. They're bone arrows. What the hell? Those are different. Um, so we got that, got that. Where the hell the... Maybe do I have to... I should have the table. Downstairs. I'm gonna head over there right now. I'm gonna... There are few places oh, where one can pursue my type of work without oh, fear of persecution. I was playing all the shorts online right now, so I gotta remember the controls in this one. It's been a good minute. Some berries. Cut through here. There's a dragon in the area. I'm not going back outside. I feel like dealing with the dragon carrying me. At the moment, I should say. Caesar. Uh, enchantment. Table. Grab the key, really. Mm -hmm. Upstairs. Table. Restoration is a perfectly valid school oh, of magic, nice. and don't let anyone ah, tell you yeah. otherwise. Is this how it works? No, oh, items. No. Is it over here maybe in my puppy? No, I don't. How do these work then? This hole? I thought, what the hell is this? Wow, again, these are full. Like these, tick. Those are easy to get. That's not, that's not, that is, that is. That's not. Why that's are sure. my research materials constantly disappearing? Uh oh, okay. Um, grab this quick. I'm actually gonna head home for a second. And white run just to figure this shit out so I can make more of these, mm -hmm. um, excuse me, arrows. So we'll be on right run and white run. I don't always, I'm so lazy on saying the word white run. We'll be on white run in a second. Okay, so I found out what you gotta do is come to head down here and make some yourself. So they're not hard to make, it's just probably going to be a bit of a pain to butt to you. Buddy, oh I can make actually some shot here, how does he come? Uh-huh. 
I'll get some firewood for a second, so I can make a couple of these arrows. So I haven't really found. So I need four elemental to make about ten I'm arrows. Not, I see anything you like? But I do. Oh, well, I want to see if she has any. What do you need, my friend? Um, ah, so you're an alchemist then? Void. I need like two void salt. Just don't she have Alphabetical. Alphabetical. Oh, that's expensive though. Whatever, I'll sell some shit. Um, wait, do I have any potions I don't need? So I should keep that. Keep, keep that. Keep that. She sell that. Keep it. Keep. Keep. Mm, keep. Keep. Well, oh, that's not bad. Actually, I made that one. I think. So a lot of this stuff is what I need. Shit. Scoom I don't need. So. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. So, I don't know what I should test it on. I'd probably go bandit, just in case. I don't know how these work exactly. So, I'm gonna craft as many. I think it's two void salt. I hope it's not two void salt per arrow, because that's really expensive of the case. Which I hope it is. Okay. Uh, oh, it's ten arrows. I'm not. That was terrible. Let's see how these look. They're pretty neat. Um, actually, I need to give those bolts to. I do have a glass bow too, which is nice. Completely forgot I had those. I don't know where I got these from, but they do actually a pretty good amount of damage, so I'll hold on to them. If anyone sneaks up on us. I will show there some of your birds. This guy, my arrow, my bolts, and one. Uh, nope. Check. Give. There we go. Lead on, friend. Okay, now I have them equipped. Okay, let me see. Okay, I do have the thing on. I hope I can get them back. I don't know if I can. I feel like testing it on a giant, but I don't know if it'll work. I'll start with something small first. I'll find some bandits right now. So I did find something small. Found a more crab. Um, let's see. I think should about do it. Huh? I'm confused. Um... Oh, I get it. Okay. I get it. That's actually for that's dope. That is actually kinda dope. I was hoping it would like make them levitate or something. I don't yeah, I don't I get iron arrows back. Okay, that makes sense. That's actually pretty dope. Um okay, I know how, I'm not pretty sure I know how those work, but that's I I'll hold on to this just in case I fight a track. Where that also sword and damn crusader at? I don't have it favorited? It is, oh shit, they aren't. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna kill these guys and uh, get back to you guys in a second. Oh, damn it, wrong button. Give up while you still can! Okay, I think I... No, there's still one here. Oh, it's a crab. There we go. So if you're wondering why I have two shields of the Crusader on my back, uh, the other one on my back gives me like 32 extra armor, so it looks goofy, but... Whatever. <laughs> Actually, can I do it this way? Let me see. And then when I unequip it, show goes back. No, it does not. Okay. Might as well favor this too, just in case. Alright, um, so mission. Let's see. 
So the mission I figured I'm probably gonna do is the last paladin, I think it's called. So it's over. It's over there. Mm. Mm, second that, let's do some main storyline stuff. Um, so I'll put that one down. I actually got a lot of missions to do. I didn't realize I haven't played this game in about. A, I haven't done anything in this game for about a month. So the only thing I probably did is um, off camera. I talked to Ulfric so he could stop being a bitch, and I talked to General Tullius so they could stop being little pouty kids. Let me get. Let me get high rough here. Come on. There we go. Head over there, talk peace, do all that stuff. I think I'm fairly close to passing the storyline already. I could be wrong. I mean, I still got a lot of other stuff to do, so. Oh. They don't mind if I steal that. There we go. Actually, probably after this, I'll probably do... I'll get Dawnbreaker, and then I'll do some Dawn... Dawn Sarp. Uh, Dongar, there we go. That should be interesting. There we go. They're all here. We're, oh shit. They're all clear So, up. you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. This was the only way to get Balgrove's help. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why uh, we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. Oh, what am I? I had completely forgot how my character's face looks. We have as much right to be oh. at this council like as my character all of you. Frozen line. More, actually. Although he's got a since we were the ones that put the dragon weird lip. I'll put my Helen back on. There we go. Where are you? Hubris of the blades truly knows no bounds. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse your grudge. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation Trust and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. <clears throat> Let me fix the man. I apologize. There's weird noise. Okay. Everyone's here, including this bitch. Hey, 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 okay. Yeah, hey, I'll take my helmet out. I'll make me feel cool over here. I guess I'll sit. Oh no, don't tell me. Okay, no. Just screen up the pathing path of the AI. That everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. <laughs> I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Did the here, here. Sure. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's oh, part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard. 
The nerve of those Imperial bastards. I'm an Imperial too. Who think that I would sit down at <laughs> the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Um, so I want to be biased, but I really don't like her. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. What do you do? Ha! Ah, Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. There's a whole Unlike your thing. Imperial friends here. Where You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legget. We represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may this we like proceed? like a whole thing where... I have something to say. It's actually first. proven that... Here we go. The only reason I agreed to the, attend the, the, this the council Loki, was to deal with the Dragon Menace. Um, supply There's nothing them. else to talk about. Like Unless the Empire is finally ready think. to renounce its unjust claim to look over the three it. people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what would out the of Elmar character. <laughs> want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. Don't look at me. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. I always find it funny when the NPCs... Since just we're all here. here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. How about... The, how about the Rift? Yeah. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I thought that would have been a good choice. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? 
If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Damn Imperial arrogance. Bitch. Oh, Let's yeah. hear it. Hey, hey, we want compensation so for the massacre at Carthwaston. <laughs> You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. They're actually Yarl neutral, Ulfric, surprisingly. General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Igmund will step down and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks Silver will Blood withdraw from the actually. Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become Maven the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaystone. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. <clears throat> what about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon no, Menace is like dealt with. Thing, After that, Alfred, story. there will be a <laughs> reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Dalmar. Yay, we have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. It is. I'll take Jarl it Balgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Awesome. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can do that. I anticipate it's funny that you can While tell you the only people that care Adrian about his whole busy thing in the library are the ones still sitting down. down. <laughs> An unguessed trove of lost lore. But I mean, think, but the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names Ellison of Dragon's or name she takes off too. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of Dragon Burial Sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. Uh, does that help us? <sighs> Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Uh, why would he come? He's not compelled Cold. to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loathe to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular 
is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, <clears throat> uh, so was the drink. I know his name. But, for story reasons. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Od Avin. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truce gives you what you need. It won't last. I'm, I'm glad you were able to negotiate a truce, but I don't I've trust Alfred. Who the Greybeard's leader really as is. As it suits him. Got two people are talking. That could have gone worse. Now it's up to you to deliver. As soon as I get back to White Run, I'll get my men ready. You did well here today. I don't think the truce will last long, but that will not be on your account. Sky, got you. Okay, I'm um, gonna head out of here, head to White Run. I'm actually. I think about the storyline for this game is fairly short. It's just there's a lot of extra story, uh, not story, side, story, side mission beats and stuff. So I'm gonna make sure my inventory is okay. It is not okay. I'll drop that. Can't drop that. So I have on currently. Do I have the rings? I do, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna head to White Run and call the dragon. So I am gonna wait a few hours, probably like around 9 ish, just for the sun to be out. So I won't be doing this in dark. There we go. And I think I do have to give the NPCs time to. Greybeards have arranged a truce between the storm cloaks and all hail the dragon ball. Oh, hey, I am gonna make some. Yeah, I was gonna do some minor stuff. Just blur my way. I won't be able to do this whole damn thing. Okay, so I stored all of my alchemic ingredients. Um, oh, no, take that back. Honestly, everything here is what I need. Except for nettle bane, maybe. That's I'm not even trying to pronounce it. Ubar? Umbar? I don't know if it's I think it's from Oblivion. I could be wrong. Excuse me. There's that asshole. Excuse me. Okay. Actually, since we're coming through here. I think this guy goes to prison and he decides with the Imperials for him. Let me see, what's the, how long is the effect for? I just don't know. Oh. No. Oh, there is not. Oh, duh. Oh, seven hours, that's not bad actually. Okay. Put the shout. <sighs> so I did myself a favor, so I won't be pushing buttons wrong. I made it standard, like, use cell controls. So it's a lot easier now. <laughs> oh, we'll get the game's We're confused. ready, Dragonborn. May the gods watch over your battles, uh, friend. Are you ready? Just bring the trap As I promised, again. my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go try My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. God, that's got, that's got to be very. Um, gotta be Another very wanderer confident. here to lick my father's oh, boots. Shit. Good job. You got to be very confident in, in someone. Like you have to be like. Like, look at it in Baldur's point of view. Can you imagine trusting a dude you've barely known for a few days, months maybe, give or take game time, to call a dragon to make sure he doesn't burn down your damn house? Not house, but your We're home ready. and your castle and shit. Is everyone here? You look off!
Did I do it? Yeah. I don't think I can see this guy. He's gonna get grabbed no matter what I do. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase, Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie. None were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafen, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um, not until Alduin is defeated. Ah, well, hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafin I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never this set foot really in Skaldafin. His nose look like eyes. Of course, <laughs> I could fly you there, but not Bro. while imprisoned like this. Back up a little bit. You there. have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikankron? You will release me, Rolan, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Be your back, homie. Hold on. Hey. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, I love this part. tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. 
Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to the large dragons such as yourself. My god, very bad idea. What are you doing back there? Foreign guard! Enough fool! <laughs> it takes up running. <laughs> I'm still amazed that your plan worked. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a You city. have reconsidered my op You will release yeah, me, Roland. Onikan Korov Gaiv Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. Yep. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Ready? And what might you need? Hmm? Hey, that about that weird cut. Um, I can't sure believe that worked. Voice is recording. Something to tell the grandkids, eh? <laughs> Open the door. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Yes, I'm Your sure. funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. It seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragon Lord's plan. Let's go. Was new. Zini dein Rufi Astval. Ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Zuk Brit of I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dov will only increase. Amativ Mu Bokotin Stinsalo. This is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. <laughs>